Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenya. If you are new here, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I have a haul. Listen, I'm gonna try to go on a little vibe because I just have a lot. I have a lot and I don't want to have to be one of those people that's buying a bunch of storage just to store a bunch of video I don't really need. I need to start paring down my collection. Speaking of, the next video will probably be a declutter so stay tuned for that. But I did buy a few new things. We've got Sephora, we've got Ulta, we've got Drugstore and we have some mini brands. Uh, well, we have Glam Light and we have Beauty Bay. So if you are interested in seeing what it is I picked up, then just keep on watching. I'm going to get Ulta out of the way since it's three things. But you know what? I actually have another order downstairs. Uh, I don't know if I'll include that or not because it's so boring. It's literally just a couple of hair products. They did have their, they did have their hair event. So, and then I bought a lipstick. I don't know, I might go get it. But, real quick, three things I picked up. Um, <laughs> so, one thing that I did pick up is from Essence. This is the My Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder. I have yet to try this, but I'm kind of trying to find the ultimate, the best drugstore powders. I feel like the drugstore kind of lacks in that area, so I'm trying to try as many as I can to find the best one. So this is what I did pick up. I picked up 20 Nude. She looks like so. So I think that would be good for setting the entire face. We'll have to see. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if I can set my under eyes with it, but I'm definitely going to try. Uh, but mainly, I guess I'll be able to set the face with this. So I did pick that. This does come in a few other shades. I don't think it came in translucent. Otherwise, you know me, I would have definitely picked up the translucent one. But the next product is from LA Girl. This is their Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is their blue one. And I believe this is for making things more neutral. Um, I have a few foundations that just aren't the right shade. So I figured instead of repurchasing some of them in my perfect shade that I would just add a little bit of this mix in just so I can get it to the color that I need. Um, so yeah, I haven't tried this out yet, but I have seen someone demo it. So I thought this might be a good idea. I do have a yellow, a white, and I think in an olive one, um, not from this brand, but from different brands. And I like to use those to add into foundations when I remember to actually use them. But yeah, I thought I would give this a try so that I can try to save some of these foundations. So the other thing that I picked up from Ulta is from Anastasia. I picked up their Magic Touch Concealer. This one is in the shade 16. This has been out for a little bit and I finally got around to picking this up. I will admit some of the stuff has been sitting here for um, probably about a maybe a month. So um, I'm ex excited to try this out. You know I love concealers. And I've heard mixed reviews. Some people really like this and some people hated it. Uh, but I haven't watched too many reviews. So from the few that I did see, uh, it's kind of mixed. So I'm not sure. I'm curious to see how I'm going to like it. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, if you've tried any of this stuff. And what do you think? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Or are you interested in picking up anything? I would love to know. So yep, uh, number 16 from Anastasia. Okay, so next is Sephora. I did pick up just a few things. One thing that went on sale, I had my eye on this. It sold out. Oh man, I almost bought it full price at Natasha Gisotto's website. But then something told me to just hold off. And I'm so glad I listened because it ended up being restocked. I hit the um, button for them to email me once it came back in stock. I would kid you not, soon as I got a notification on Sephora's app, I went and I ordered the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I have had my eye, there's a little hair. I've had my eye on this and I just never got a hold of it. I have three others in this midi form. I have the Sunrise, the Bronze, and the Zendo. So far, the Zendo is my least favorite. Uh, I liked the color story, but I felt like the formula was not so good. But uh, I'm excited to try this out. This is so pretty. I love the colors. I really like this color story. I feel like it's romantic and fun and very spring and very anytime and just 
I don't know, it just puts me in a good little mood, you know? So yeah, I'm really excited. This shade Pure Love is kind of calling out to me. So I'm really excited to try this guy out. I'm excited to get my brushes in here, but yeah, isn't that shade pretty? It took me forever to get a hold of this, so I don't know. And I was able to get it on sale, half off. I almost bought it for full price. Next, I bought two foundations. I restocked my beloved, <laughs> my favorite foundation, which is the NARS. And I don't know how I've been using this for years and can't remember the name, but it's the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. Of course, I have my new Tahoe. Yo, listen. I love this foundation. And um, the one I was using is empty. So I don't feel like Tahoe is my exact match. It is a little yellow. So I might add a little bit of the color corrector just to see if we can bring down the yellow a little bit, but I love this formula. It's so good. I feel like they could use another shade that's that color, but a little bit less yellow of an undertone because the other ones seem like they'd be too orange or too pink. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be nice, but, but yeah, I love that foundation. I feel like I've raved about it a million times. I did finally get my hands on the KVD Good Apple, is this a serum? Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I picked up the shade Tan 66. This had been selling out when it first came out repeatedly. So finally it was back in stock and then I kind of lost interest in it, but then I had a coupon and so I was able to get it a little bit. Thin. Now they were doing a thing where like foundations were like 15% off or something like that. So that's when I bought this and that Norse foundation. I don't know if this is gonna be my shade or not, but ooh, I don't know. We'll have to see. It looks a little dark, but I'm willing to try it out. Let's see, I like the packaging. I like that it's clear, it's cute. Um, it doesn't feel super flimsy, but I wouldn't say like this is the highest quality plastic, but it feels decent. Uh, I believe these are normally $38. So if I pick this formula, because my skin has been a little drier, so I feel like now is the perfect time to try out like a serum-y, balmy type foundation. So I'm really excited to try this. If you guys have tried this, do you guys like it? Let me know. I think it's the last thing I picked up from Sephora. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade, you already know. I love mine so much. Ugh, the cap broke on mine, so it's taped up all ghetto. Don't judge me, but look it. That's all I have. A tiny, tiny nub. It's basically gone. So I'm, I had to re-up on this. And I got this, I want to say, for half off. Uh, this is in the shade Dark Drapes. This is one of my favorite brow pencils. And I love the ink stain on it as well. It's so fine and I love it. If you are looking for something that's an all-in-one, especially for travel, you probably really like this. Like, try it out. I don't know, let me know, but I love this. It's definitely one of my favorites. And so one thing I did pick up from the drugstore that I realized I picked up the wrong one. Somebody I follow was talking about this, I wanna say a few months ago. Um, it's from Flower Beauty. It's their eyebrow pencil. This one's in the shade Dark Brunette. I have already tried this one before, I realized. Um, I didn't like this. And uh, the one I was supposed to get was the skinny one in the white packaging. And I don't know where my receipt is or nothing. I think I bought this like a while ago too. And it's just been kind of sitting around. And I realized I bought the wrong one. I didn't like this one because it was too waxy and the pencil wasn't very fine. It's a little bit thick. I have sparse brows, so I like something that's gonna give me thinner, more hair-like strokes. This just is kind of like a crayon. It's just a little too chubby for my liking. So I might just give this one away and uh, purchase the one that I actually need. I just didn't like the way it looks in my brows. So I probably won't even bother opening this one and just give it away. Maybe someone else will have a better look with that one. Next, I ordered from Beauty Bay. I actually have two orders, but this is the first one I ordered. This was my first time ordering from Beauty Bay, and it does come from the UK. So I have yet to try this stuff. This is the Beauty Bay palette, and I have it in Utopia. 
believe this is an all matte palette but i thought this just looked so pretty this just looks so colorful and fun and i thought that the color selection was really cute yeah it's an all matte palette it's so pretty though like look at this <gasps> Oh my goodness, I love this color story. It's so pretty. And I don't have a, I don't think I have an all matte palette with these shades. And they're super affordable. So if you've never ordered from Beauty Bay before, I would recommend checking them out. I'm excited to try out their formula. I've heard really good things about Beauty Bay's palettes. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this guy out. I can't say that I have any matte palettes like this. So like I said, I'm trying to be more selective because your girl got way too much palettes as it is, but I had to try that one out. And then one palette that I have had my eye on for a minute is their Sunset Horizons palette. They do very like just simple packaging. So, um, but yeah, here we go. So this has actually been out for quite some time. I finally went ahead and ordered this guy. This is so pretty. These are just totally up my alley. Look at this. You guys, is this not? Oh, I feel like that's me. And this is me as a palette. I love the warmth here. And then we have the cooler bluey tones with some purples down here. Like the vibes I'm getting. I'm so excited to try this. Like some of these shimmers just look so gorgeous. This is a pretty unique shade to my collection. Like I can't think of another shade that looks like stargazing. This is so pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen this already, but this will be my first time trying out Beauty Bay. But yeah, this is gorgeous. Like what took me so long to buy this? I don't know, but speaking of Beauty Bay, I did place another order with them because I wanted the Wilderness palette. It was out of stock. I didn't realize it was gonna be limited edition. So I was like, oh, I missed it. They did end up having a notification on there for a restock. After I could have sworn they said they weren't gonna be restocking it, but we know how that goes don't we so they did end up sending me a notification it was in stock and uh well i ordered it hold on let me get in here i ordered a couple other things too so i'll start with those um one of which is a split liner because i thought why not this is olive tree and it's like a half greeny half teal this is from the blend blend this is from the blend what this is from the brand glisten and it's their split liner in olive tree uh oh i didn't realize how small this was she's like little little like a baby baby so cute uh it's really cute though Actually, I'm kind of happy that it's so small because I feel a little better knowing that I don't have like a whole pot of this to go through. Um, and it was nice to be able to just kind of try it. Yeah, let me know. Are you guys into like colored liners or hydro liners? I also picked up from Beauty Bay their, what are, you, what are they calling this? It's just a crayon eyeliner and I picked it up in the shade, oh, what shade is this? <laughs> Hello? So I picked it up in the shade Peacock. And this is just like a pencil liner. I do wish that there was something to indicate the color because it's just white packaging. Um, but this is a really pretty like emerald green. Ooh, let's see. Oh, there's shimmer in it, how pretty. It's a very fine pencil. There we are in Peacock from Beauty Bay. That's pretty. I'm excited to try that out. I've been really into colored liners lately. Uh, I've been using a purple one that I have from LA Color a lot. I really like that one. And I like the color, no, ColourPop has one in collaboration with uh, Rob Rudy Christie called Spare Time that I've been really liking. So I'm happy to add another green to the collection. But so far, it's so pretty. It's And it's nice and creamy. And for the entire reason I will place that other order, I jumped on the site immediately and ordered this because they said it was available and I was not trying to miss it. I think as of when we're recording this right now, it's still available. So, but it's the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay. You guys, I'm so glad this came back in stock because I've been real mad if I didn't get my hands on it. Uh, I don't know why I didn't order it the first time. Like, no idea. I just, I guess I assumed it would just be available. 
This is so pretty. So this is kind of like, everybody's kind of comparing this to the Melt Morante palette and the, and the other one that was more like orangey and red. People are kind of comparing it to that. I'm not getting that other palette's vibe, but definitely Morante vibes. I've heard nothing but good things about this palette, so I'm really excited to try this out. I'm ha I have a good feeling. I have a feeling these are gonna be really nice. Look at these shimmers. This shade Ocean in the corner here. Oh my gosh, you know I love my blues and my greens. You guys, I do have another small Ulta order downstairs. I'm probably not gonna go get it. But I will tell you what's in it. I've ordered some Tijin products. Is it Tijin? T-G-I-N? Tijin? I don't know. I'm not sure how you pronounce that brand. But I did order uh, two hair products from them because it was one on sale on Ulta. And then I ordered a L'Oreal lipstick. I'll probably just put <laughs> the items somewhere on the screen if you're curious. It's super hydrating. Color Reach Shine Varnished Rosewood, number 904. That's the last thing I picked up uh, while I was having a sale. I've been wanting to get this palette, but I'll be honest, I was waiting for a sale. So <laughs> here it is. It came in a huge box and I was like, why is this so big? Because it's an ice cream truck. Oh my gosh, this came well packaged by the way. This is amazing. How is this so well thought out like i feel like there are high-end brands that aren't getting half the effort and are charging twice as much this is awesome look how cute it is oh my gosh i love this it's huge where am i gonna put this i don't know but this is what the palette comes in it's still shrink wrapped like i haven't even opened it hold on i've got some little cute scissors here that i just use for cutting lashes but i'm going to get up in here Oh, here we go. Does anyone else like taking things out of plastic? I feel like it's so satisfying, even if it's not like perfect. It just, you hear that? Ugh, I just love, I love the way it sounds. Okay, maybe I'm just the weirdo, I don't know. <laughs> but like, how cute is this? So I got the plastic out. You guys, I'm so excited to open this. I'm sure you guys have all seen this or already have this, but look at that. What is this? Oh, plastic. You guys, is this not? Come on now. Oh my gosh. Like this little truck is adorable. I don't know where I'm going to put this in my room, but oh my gosh. I'm excited. This is, are you kidding? Glam Light. This will be my first Glam Light product. I have not tried anything else from them, but I knew I wanted this ice cream one. They were having like a disc, like some kind of sale for dessert palettes. I might buy the cake one. That one looks really cute too, but I knew I had to have this one. What the? What is this on there? <gasps> like residue on here. Everything has a mirror, which is awesome, but it also means being blinded. So if you have not seen this already, gorgeous. That's so pretty. I love the pastels that are down here. Wow, some of these shades just look so good. I'm really excited to try out this formula. I cannot wait and I adore this little ice cream. Like, and there's little sprinkles in there, sold. If I love this, I'm gonna have to buy the cake one too. It's so cute. I was taking a look at the little thing in the back and it does have their ingredients. Um, shelf life. This is cruelty and vegan if you are interested. I have a ton of palettes as you can see to try out. So expects a few looks anyway. Um, I know a lot of these have been out for a while. So if there is one in particular that you guys are interested in seeing, let me know. I'd be happy to do a look for sure, or at least give you a mini review on it if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one.